Hayes Eagle, Hazy Eagle, I don't know how you pronounce that one. Tater Lid Pinker, Pinkered, Tater Lid, I completely annihilated that one also. Nebraska Outdoorsman 365, uh, Flair, that should have been your name. <laughs> Brady Tyler, Taylor Conyers, and Dylan Cook. Those folks are all brand new subscribers that are interested in thy waterfowl information that I give. And uh, they're going to come on back and watch some more. I know you will because you're great people. And uh, you know what to do. Hit that subscribe button if you want to uh, be a part of these Foul Fridays and get a shout out or uh, just be epic like the rest of us. But in all seriousness, I, uh, I really do thank you guys for subscribing. I'm coming up on 1,500 subscribers, and uh, that is extremely exciting to me. I really want to thank each and every one of you for hitting that button, gosh darn it. What's up, guys? Welcome back to another Foul Friday. So on this episode, I am actually going to mix it up quite a bit. We're going to not talk about waterfowl in specific, but we're going to get a little bit lighthearted and uh, have a little fun on this one. I want to mix it up from time to time. I want to throw in the uh, funny content. If you're an avid viewer of my videos, I love being, you know, having fun. I love incorporating, you know, whether you're trolling somebody in the field when you're hunting or fishing, whatever it might be. <laughs> I'm funny. <laughs> Today we're going to talk about the top five things that non hunters say. Now, people that don't hunt. So, I'm, I, first of all, I want to say that I'm not bashing people that don't hunt or saying they're stupid or saying we're better than them. By no means. I'm just saying that a lot of us find some humor in some of the, some of the things that they say. But like I said, it is hilarious to most of us hunters and I just figured it'd be something funny to chat about and to have a good time with. So, don't take any offense to this if you are not a hunter. But if you don't hunt, uh, you probably should. <laughs> Before we get into this real quick, I want you guys to drop a comment and let me know what is some of the most funniest things you've ever heard a non-hunter ask you or say uh, to something that you really remember that was freaking hilarious. So uh, I'm gonna start with the funniest. I'm gonna save it for last. But one of the first ones is, you know when you post a picture of a uh, of your keel, of your waterfowl keel. Let's talk about waterfowl for a minute. Let's kick it off with the waterfowl. When you post a picture on your uh, social media of your waterfowl keel, and either you get a comment, or maybe you run into your grandma, or your cousin, or your, or your best friend from 11 years ago, or, or whoever it might be, and uh, you are clearly in the picture, you're a goose hunting, and they, and they ask you, and it's probably not the first time they've asked you the same question. Hey! How many ducks you kill? You know, people don't understand the difference between ducks and geese, and it cracks me up every freaking time I hear it. It's 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 hilarious. But honestly, I mean, most of them probably don't even give a shit whether it's a duck or a goose, so it's just funny to me. You know? So this next one, so this next one actually happened to me. Had a quick shop. You know, it seems that a lot of these things happened to me and, and, I've, and I've been asked. All, all these, by the way, are, are things that's happened to me personally, uh, but most of these things happen to me at a quick shop. You know, in the morning before I go hunt, hunt or the morning of the hunt, when I'm all decked out in camo, most of these things happen in the darn quick shop most of the time. So this one time I was standing at the counter and uh, I'm getting ready to pay for my stuff and this older man, you know, he, he was a nice guy, very, 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 very good gentleman, walks up next to me and kind of just staring at me, like, you know, right here, and I'm like, good morning. And he goes, sir, I'd like to thank you for your service. And he puts out his hand to shake my hand, and, and of course I shook his hand, but, uh, at that point, I didn't know whether to, to kind of just fib and go, oh, well, thank, you know, thank you. Because for a little bit, I was dumbfounded of what he was even talking about. It took me a couple seconds, but then I realized he thought I was in the darn military. 
And uh, I then said, oh no, sir, I'm not in the military. Um, I'm actually just hunting this morning. And uh, he kind of had a good laugh and we went about our day. So that was a funny one. All right, number three. Now, I have some coworkers. You know who you are. I'm not picking on anybody particular now. Nicholas or anybody. But uh, this cracks me up every time. I am sure this has happened to each and every one of you. Uh, so you have a coworker or, or a friend that you may not know very well or an acquaintance of some sort and uh, they're asking you about your hunting and what you hunt and this and that and maybe you're getting into talking about turkey or deer and uh, all of a sudden it goes to well hell Bob you should have just come and shoot them off my back porch oh my lord I get it all the time freaking hilarious every single time so to add to that if you are a non-hunter and you're and you're watching this what I can say about most hunters, uh, hunters that are like myself, is, is that for me it's not about just the kill. It's, it's about the pursuit. It's about me being outdoors. It's about me having that time outside uh, pursuing an animal. The, the kill, you know, whether you're limiting out on geese or getting your, your trophy buck or, or uh, tom, that's, that's, that's the reward for the, for the labor. But uh, I think this subject is something that is a big misconception about our sport. But uh, moving on. Number four. Number four. I really wish that I could catch this one on camera at some point. Just a heads up, this winter, you know, when waterfowl hits, I'll be cranking out the waterfowl hunts yet again. And, and my hunts are vlog type hunts. Vlogging before and after, during, but having really good hunting footage. And uh, but this one I really want to catch on camera at Quick Shop. So this one, yet again, happened at Quick Shop. Uh, you know, when we go into Quick Shop, there's probably four or five of us, of us in general most of the time going in there to get coffee or Monster or something. And uh, this one particular time, I'm standing, getting my coffee. The gentleman walks up and uh, he begins to pour his coffee also. And uh, he looks at me and he stares at me for a minute, so I basically had to look back at him. And uh, I did have a camera in my hand also, probably got his attention, but he looks up and he says, you boys hunting? Yeah, man, there's only five of us in here dressed out in camo. I think we're gonna be headed to church, but you know. <laughs> but the, the people say and ask the damnedest things, I'll tell you what. It's not normal seeing a guy walk around uh, in, in public, I guess, dressed in camo. You would think in, this, in the middle of Kansas it would be, but I, I don't know. Number five. Here we are, finally. Aww. Number five, I'm sure a bunch of you have experienced in your hunting history. But you know, now with Snapchat and Instagram story and Facebook story and all this stuff, uh, pictures and whatnot, you know, you post a picture on your story and then later that day or maybe later that week, someone you know that you might run into. Hey, Bob, you catch anything? <laughs> oh, good Lord, every time. Every time someone asks me if I caught anything, I literally bust up laughing every time. It's freaking hilarious. I, I usually laugh until I realize that I'm offending them, or hopefully they laugh too because they understand what they said. But I, I try not to be mean uh, to people that are non-hunters. You know, honestly, a lot of people just want to learn, and and they don't know the right at. Uh, and they don't know the right questions to ask or, or how to ask them. So being nice to our population, uh, our non-hunting population for sure, is a must, guys. We cannot bash somebody who's different and somebody that don't do the things we do. Because you got to think, if you weren't raised killing animals, just think about it. That's all I'm saying. If you weren't raised killing animals or hunting animals, it's easy to think that it's wrong. And we just have to be open-minded about that because if we're not nice to these people, it's only a dark and grim road down the future because, you know, who knows who's gonna be president tomorrow or 
the the next 20 years from now who knows so so that is my five funny things non-hunters say remember if you guys have anything to add to this something that happened to you something that sparked your attention that was funny and that you can remember put it in the comments down below i'd love to hear them i'd love to make another one of these if you guys uh if you guys pop in, populate enough later on down the road so let me know down low Real quick update, I am still holding on to a couple good goose hunts that I haven't put up yet. I'm holding on to them to give you guys that little saucy plate of sauce, saucy hunts in the middle of the summer because I do understand, fellas, that duck depression is real. Just ask my buddy Austin, he knows. But yes, duck and goose depression is real. That's why I'm here, is to help yous get through the summer because I'm gonna tell you it's gonna be a long and hot one and I cannot wait till we're all back in the field come fall. But I wanna thank each and every one of you for stopping on by. I hope you come on back now. Hope to see you guys again. Have a good day. Have a good, what is this, Friday. Have a good weekend. We'll see y'all.